We're here outside Tesco's protesting against workfare, against the punitive attitude towards the unemployed and poor, which is taken by the ruling class and its media in the country today. Let us remember that Tesco, or the family that owned Tesco, has form. We can recall Lady Porter, who organised the cleansing, the cleansing of the poor from Westminster 25 years ago, when she was condemned by the courts, she pleaded bankruptcy, although she had a fortune of over 20 million pounds, and then fled to Israel. Which takes us to another point. Tesco, of course, has fallen in lying about the source of produce that it sells. We know that within Tesco, there will be produce which is labelled as being from the West Bank or anonymously from Palestine when it is in fact grown in illegal settlements. So Tesco's have formed. It is not surprising that it accepted workfare what with its penchant like so many other retail outlets, the zero hours contract for temporary limited part-time jobs. We have to take a stand against companies like Tesco because they will negotiate with government a different form of workfare, one which allows them to continuously cut wages. We have to take a stand against this and we call on everybody passing by to sign the petition against welfare.